and keeps him at bay. Ice now trying to join up with the rest of his team. Shale going to be forced away. The path maker, they might focus down Merwin first, but he's so tanky. All out brings Shale away, and the Baron secured by MDK. Shale falls to Merwin as he dashes across the wall and escapes. There's nothing that Shale can do. And the everyone on BDS is just trying to catch up, but he's so slippery. Yeah, even having the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I missed that. What did time to time to XDD? <laughs> <laughs>10%, but largely full health from the side of Fnatic. No one needs to regroup with this team. Oh, goes wide with the shockwave, lands Alvaro's just deleted, as is Elioia. Holy f I'm one shot in them. Oscar really doing well on the Kazante exam here as well. Merwin tried to trade in with the needle work. Oscar able to dash away. Merwin's used. Oh, two other Qs and Oscar! Very similarly to support with the amount of utility that this champion does provide. Oh, lots of Kazantes. Yeah. Gwen's taking over our screens right now. I prepared a fun fact for today. Sure, hit me with your fun fact. Uh, sharks are older than trees. Okay, I reckon I could find a tree that's older uh, than a shark. Uh, so I'm not saying all the sharks in the ocean at the moment are older than the trees. Okay. I'm saying sharks happened on Earth before trees happened on Earth. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. <laughs> <laughs> Last game it was mere one, this game it might be mere done. Alioya going forward with the Twisted Advance though, and there's the near to work, and there's the first kill for MDK. The chance doing it for the Mirwin dies to the minions! A side, are you ready? Yeah, yes. Put the mic close, Miri. We don't have our coaches, no? I mean, they'll come soon, I hope. <laughs> we don't have coaches. It's fine, we draft, we draft. Push control so important. Oh, here we go. Is this is going to be a 5v5. Who gets into the bush first? Oh, I'm going to give it to Oscar in it. was on his way as well. Elioia is going to base check. There's the hook on Jun, the flash away. Razzle dashes in as well. Fescari already down to half HP. The ignites are ticking, and Jun is low. He flashes away. The chase continues. Razzle hasn't got a hope in hell of escaping this one, and Super claims another. MDK 2 all up and hook. Make it three. Does Elioia know, though, that Razzle is here? He doesn't. He's locked up. He's stunned up. He has the flash, has the trigger seed as well. Will he be able to get away from this one? Knocked out by Oscar Winning, but Oscar Winning can just change forms and auto. Elioia. Flashes back oh. into the bush, and oh. flashes back, no way does he get out of this! Flashes back oh. into the bush, and oh. flashes back, no way does he get out of this! Oh my god, my god. But what a start for MDK, in a perfect position, and... Razzle. Gonna die for Gragas? They're gonna try. They're gonna try. Fuscari dashes away, oh! Okay, well... Bit of an attack. Tower needed a drink, apparently. <laughs> he is down. Alvaro flashes the wall with a spiraling despair, closing in on him. Humanoid, it's in danger. Oh, he gets hit up. The body slam. I thought it was a little bit wide. He's going to try and catch out Oscar, and he'll do exactly that. The killer instinct in oh. is super. For MDK in the early game, they were less than one again. Up, look at him. Look at him. He looks for the flank, and he finds both the carries. Frisgawi, you absolute beauty. I just love that from both these teams. Oh, Humanoid. Whoa. Whoa. Well, more spiraling despair. He'll wait for the slow, the severing bolts. Also, their follow up engage. Maokai plus Rel are really powerful. Whoa. All right, so one of those was the real flash, the other was a hex flash. Yeah, and I was woeing the real flash. So MDK stepping forward, it's all on nowhere to try and defend, but he just can't get through these shields. He's hooked up with the dredge line, but Humanoid just rips them to shreds. TP in the middle, there's the hook. Here comes Friskawi immediately onto Noah, gets the knockback onto Humanoid. But look who's on the flank again. There's a control ward. Will it spot him out in time? Fnatic realize something is afoot here. Friskawi spotted with the control ward. Fnatic can just turn on him immediately. But Humanoid just took his time, didn't flash away. It will They're be so glorious paranoid. for MDK, and here he comes. Friskawi finds Humanoid, knocks him the wrong way. He gets him away. 
Very slippery in a situation like this. The Vault Breaker out, almost kills Razzle. Can't quite find him for Skawi. We'll be able to get some more damage down. Super dashing forward. Humanoid coming in from the side. Razzle, Glow, Yoya down. Super will be killed off. Not quite. The Severian Bolt dodged to the side of Oscar in low. The shields, the heals for Skawi. Keeping his AD carry alive, but not for long enough. With the malignant, so with the fact that when you hit your spells as well, you get that. Ah! This pit there's the TP from Oscar in, and Merwin's gonna try and stop him. He gets there with the Narm in time. Razzle having to dash away. Merwin now TPing in. Can Oscar stop his? He can! With a light bounce! <laughs> oh, he looks absolutely really, really sad. Let's uh, make nothing history, okay. Did Razzle leave up a grub there oh, as Humanoid whoa, whoa. is slid back? The Buster shot won't be enough as Humanoid! He has Flash! He's just outplayed! I've been casting League of Legends <laughs> for seven years, Medic, and over those years, I've realized that I should give the pro players the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, sometimes they see something you don't see, sometimes there's fog of war, sometimes there's voice comms that change things. But I can say without a shadow of a doubt there, Betty, that Humanoid was into it. <laughs> <laughs> for Scowy, level 18, here we go. Erwin goes in. Looks for the path maker. We'll just try and dash away. He is taking damage, as you say. But you look at the damage on Jun on the back line. Ninja Scar's coming out. Gwen is immune, but Noah is not. And because it went to Gwen, Noah thought he was safe. He's locked up. And MDK absolutely outplay Fnatic. They are the pride of that region. Others. Sorry guys, I love you. I f***ing love you all. I wish that would happen to me, you know, just play some tanks in super hard and then they're like, okay, this doesn't work, you just play carries instead, yeah. you know, but it's like the other way, it's like, oh, you can't play carry? Hmm. The problem is he already showed that he can do it on others, you maybe didn't do that, I don't know. Why flame him? <laughs> I don't know, because we're friends. Hmm. Are we? Are we? I don't know. No, Let's I don't know by. anymore after that one. And now, realistically, we'll see the play in response from Shea on this top side. So much credit to MDK as the wallet comes down. Nuke was tanking the tower, has to flash. Merwin looking for the house in the back, but instead he uses the boomerang. With the timing window that he has, Shea can't try and contest them. Now, Genax. Yeah, flashes. Merwin has to flash. Sonic Wave hits. And oh, the no. back up. The Inspire Shield. You gotta think about these things, Jana. Nuke is gonna spot Super out. Nuke has no flash. Super might just take the fight. Yeah, but he has the tower as well. Okay. Yep. Super maybe shouldn't have taken that fight. The killer yep. instinct comes out and Super's yep. down. Okay. Well, so you Nuke. could see what he was thinking. <laughs> that he yes, can we engage? But perhaps discretion is the better part of Valor here as the killer instinct goes in. Nuke tries to open up with Super. The killer instinct shield not enough to keep him alive. Elioya trading up towards the top side. Two kills so far to MDK. Merwin. Able to find one on the back line as Nuke falls, and now it's all on Ice and Gen X. And Friskawi's diving in. Ice on a rampage. Mirwin falls. Gen X diving back forward as Alyoya falls low. Ice begins to open up in the bailout. Won't save you today. It's a triple for Ice. Give Gen X one to boot. A steal here could turn the game on its head. Alyoya dashing to the side. Gen X dashing in as Alvaro falls low. Merwin takes a chunk with an arcane shift and a mystic shot. The true shot mirage finds two. He's got ice in his veins and death in his eyes as BDS find the shutdown, the dragon secured. He's gonna get hooked, he's gonna get locked up, and the Rakan. Alvaro hovering mid here, has the Hex Flash, nuke very low, but Wave is there. Oh my god, that hit. Oh, lands, and a lolly popping at the end of it. Yeah, I like the swap overall. Uh, it gives an opportunity to funnel plates, particularly because you're looking to get yourself Super's kind of six low. grubs. Super's kind of low! Oh, he actually flashes that. And now Super's very alone, Labrov. No flash, remember, knocked back. Genex looking for the bomber, can't quite find it, Severum. With the Moonlight Vigil, heals him up. The root coming down as well. Super knows he doesn't win this, and then he oversteps looking for it. True shot barrage. Oh no, man. Toilet. Tries to spot it with the season to assist. Tries to get under the tower. TP in, all out. Knocks him back. The Pathmaker as well. There's the hook. And the Death Squad pays dividends. And no ghost. How? Can Nuke navigate this? Well, he starts to dash away, so has the Emperor's Divide. Cease and desist available for Leoya. A flash almost back up. Wow. Mirwin goes forward within Topher as there's the Vault Breaker. Nuke uses the Emperor's Divide to try and get away. Tries to dodge the dredge line. Nuke is gonna die. 
caught out, locked up, CC'd, and he's dead again. Dead squad, dead squad. The stories that are the best, I think, for our region, it is the fact that it is young players, and I know you don't want to be called rookies, but it's, <laughs> okay, what, do, what, do we, what should we call you then? For me, it's fine, rookie. Like, yeah. it's when a rookie win you, it hits different. It does, <laughs> it hits different. I like that. Only two teams heeded the call. Over the icy terrain, as the snow is already making a problem for me. Our current MVP, Mickey X. Superstar in the making, Frescoe. They cannot stick around. Ayoya has is his passive. This is lunacy. If you don't dodge his Q, you just die. Hansama tries to get to the side. Mickey X is a great hook. Passive, not going to get proc. Ayoya hits the blob and walks away. One Ayoya wins on the ground, Walks in. They proc the passive, but now Super can follow up. Is anyone willing to burn a TP here? Does they think there's a counterplay? There's nothing here. They've lost so much. Hook back in. Auto E. Mickey at least getting one back. He's waiting in the wings. Broke play. Shroud, where is it going to go? Waiting as long as possible. Ulti still connecting. Queuing into Broken Blade. He's so low. Elioia. I'd argue overstaying him. Mavine Skoy grouped up. Mickey gonna find the hook onto Supa, that's crucial again, the Senna ult immediate follow up, caps on the back line, and Supa just deleted, right as the fire start, he's ticking down, he will finally fall, one final auto to get it done, win well from here when it's beautiful though, Hansama now gonna be in trouble, the dragon offering him quick access into the backside, knockup coming through, Q3, fantastic from Mirwa, but it's a scrappy fight, caps still untouched, gold card now coming in, Q coming through, and Mirwa the one to start to take over again, just clean with the knockups, Mirwa playing like a madman, keeping the fight going, he cannot miss, a tornado, it's a quadra, they come in with a very clear with the defined plan and I'm here is Helio again. Safety, but that's not safety baby, that is death! And we've got pushing lanes. We've Potentially heralding a lane swap Whoa. and a bit more attention towards Drake. Whoa. Broken Blade, nice knock back there. Hoping to catch Mirwin oh, out, but Mirwin has not shit. hit him under tower. Broken Blade just gonna go for the all and Senna all now coming down for a little bit of extra shielding. Broken Blade determined! Trading on the top side of the map as well as Whoa. in the mid lane. Oh no, oh, no, 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 Maybe hoping to get a little bit more here, but what about the Mega, but doesn't have enough time! <laughs> Meanwhile, G2 have broken down the bot lane tier 2 tower, and Broken Blade's not oh, done! Oh, he wants oh, to keep that 1v1 oh. going now that Zack's not in the picture! One more arrow might be enough to just finish the job, oh. but Broken Blade doesn't even want to wait for another arrow! But then they get Cassandra, you make one less step, you get sent to okay. Narnia with a little ult, and then, yeah. Um, let's see if they do take that Varus away from him, maybe force him back onto the set. I think someone who has had a great <laughs> split, though, is BB. What? <laughs> Just inciting another delay of game really <laughs> yeah. shortly as his jungler probably cannot play. <laughs> he's realized his mistake. 14. He's first when it comes to forward position. Yikes sprinting down to the bottom side of the map. Mad Lions Koi, are they willing to commit a nice hook back in? They're going to finally finish off Mickey. But as long as MDK are able to avoid mid wave, they're going to be fine. This is the. Hey, what happened? Mickey is once again getting caught out. Super can just follow up with another ultimate. Broken Blade in the area. Flash out from Mickey. Still gonna get hit by the Varus ultimate. Yike now throwing down the Swirl Seed. Super uncontested over the wall, just laying down a bit more damage. Yike now chasing in. Super caught out though, and it might be enough for G2. Bamba knocking it back into the safety. Alvaro buying as much base as he possibly can. Arrow doing good damage for three members of the entire G2 topside. Here, looking to finish off Super. The shutdown coming through. Mad Lions Koi are scattered. Can they recover? Mirwan just doesn't have the damage. He goes in, he tries to give his life, but it's not enough. G2 topside is too damn strong. And once again, it is just the Yike Show. They're going to give him the Penta. Four looking for five as Elioia runs for the hill. Swirl Seed will not connect. G2 on the chase down. Penta kill for Yike. You can be a rookie. You can be a veteran. But nobody takes a title from G2. We were so looking forward to this matchup versus Mirwin, so how was it in a best of five? Um, I definitely have to say the first game he played uh, good. I was surprised that he pulled off Yasuo, and I have to give him uh, huge respect uh, for pulling something like that off in a final as a rookie. Um, <laughs> but I also think that was about it uh, for the series. <laughs> Let's say you want to elevate the, the region of Europe and there's a team in, 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 in the Europe, European League that wants to beat you. How would you approach uh, their practice so they can come up to your level and actually challenge you regionally? He's asking for a friend. Yeah, asking for a friend, of yeah. course. How's you, I think, right? Yeah, it's for you, Mickey X. Oh, it's for me? <laughs> yeah. I think it's doomed. <laughs> <laughs>